know if you've heard of him, Donald Trump. Donald, welcome back to the show. Good morning. Thank you. Well, for the first time in a long time, you can look at the polls and actually uh, feel really strongly that you're doing well in almost every battleground state. What is your reaction to, for example, uh, what, you're, what you're doing in Florida, up 41-39, with Johnson getting... 47-44. 47-44, with Johnson getting a surprising, uh, well, he's still getting 6%. Well, my reaction is we've really had a good month, I think, Brian. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been very exciting. Uh, we went to Pensacola. We had a tremendous crowd. They had to have 25, 30,000 people, of which, you know, half of them couldn't get in. It was, it was an incredible day. And, it, you know, it's Florida. There's tremendous enthusiasm in Ohio and Florida and Pennsylvania is coming unbelievably well with the miners that she wants to put out of business. And, you know, the whole thing is uh, just working. We, we really did. We've had a, a, an incredible month. There is great enthusiasm. What changed? I don't know. Uh, you know, I think I've been saying similar things. I talk immigration and illegal immigration. I talk about jobs, a lot of jobs. Maybe that's it because I'm very focused on jobs talk about our very depleted military, how we're going to fix it and take care of our vets, the Second Amendment, the judges. I mean, talking about a lot of subjects. We have a lot of problems. This country has problems, believe me. Right, in Ohio, that's what a, most of the voters there are thinking about is the economy. We talk about so many other things, but still, the economy remains the number one for so many voters. And in Ohio, you're up there 46 percent in this new CNN poll. Clinton is at 41 percent. They say if you don't win Ohio, you're not going to go on to win the presidency. Well, that's what they say. We've had an unbelievable response from Ohio. We went to the fair, and we had, you know, at least 100,000 people there, at least 100,000, really many more than that. And, you know, I, I looked around, I say, wow, this doesn't look like the person that's going to be losing Ohio, because <laughs> the, the, the relationship with the people of Ohio was unbelievable. I mean, it's been, it's been the whole thing has been unbelievable. Well, I tell you what, you were on our program on Monday, and... Uh, Hillary Clinton had collapsed at the 9-11 uh, commemoration, which you were also in attendance at. The day before, you announced that you were going to be releasing some of your health records. Uh, it turns out you released them yesterday. We don't know the contents of them entirely because we've got to watch Dr. Oz later on today. Uh, check your local listings for Showtime. But here's something you, and you've already seen this, Donald Trump, because you said it about uh, 18 hours ago, you're talking about how you believe you've got the stamina for the presidency of the United States. Here you are with Dr. Oz. Let's talk about stamina. You've, yeah. you've used that word a lot. You've made an issue in this campaign. You argue that a president has to have a tremendous amount of stamina. Uh, if elected at age 70, you will be the oldest person to ever enter the Oval Office. Why do you think you have the stamina for the job? Yeah, just about the same age as Ronald Reagan. And, um, and Hillary's a year behind me. I would say just based on my life. I mean, I've had, I, I actually, and I don't know if this makes sense, I feel as good today as I did when I was 30. Well, that's great. Uh, I know we're going to have to watch Dr. Oz later today to get the results, but what are the highlights of the two documents that you presented to Dr. Oz about your health? Well, the one document talks about Lenox Hill Hospital, which is a great hospital in New York, and the other one is, uh, you know, where, where the doctor is associated in some form. And the other one is uh, the physical. And I did all the tests. I did every test. I did it last week. And the samples all came back. And I guess I wouldn't be talking to you right now if they were bad. If they were bad, I would say, let's uh, sort of skip this, right? How's your cholesterol? Skip, hey, we'll, yeah, we'll, maybe, maybe no more that, fast food, huh? Yeah, the, the cholesterol, I think, is <laughs> quite good. Uh, everything is really good. And if I... Honestly, you know, I told I told people on your show I'm going to go get a physical because you guys mentioned that. And I said, yep. all right, I'll go get a physical. And I was quick to do it, and I have every single test you can have, and and they were good. Did you, I, I understand? According to an audience member, you said you wanted to lose 15 pounds. That's right. Well, the doctor actually said, "See, so you're six three and you weigh two thirty six. How are you going to do that? So that's your weight, two thirty six, right? I, I do try. It's tough you know, on the trail. I mean, really, is, all you have is fast food. It is tough. It's a tough thing. <laughs> Although you get a lot of exercise on the trail, also people it's, don't really. It's just, it's just a hard to get that big van through the drive through. That's, that's right. True. So, uh, Mr. Trump, your weight is two thirty six, not two sixty seven. That's being quoted in the paper today? No, it's 236. Right. Oh. All right. 
Did right. they quote that in the paper? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's bad enough. <laughs> hey, no, no, yeah, somebody said you were really big. You know, in Newsweek, they did have uh, they did a story on you guys, and they're trying to unwind the success of your company and how you've been involved in all these nations from India to Russia to the Ukraine to Vietnam and Thailand and Argentina. Do you think, even though they don't allege any corruption, do you think there's a, do you can understand the American people wanting to know more about what you're doing there? Well, I didn't read the article. I heard the article made me out to be extremely successful, but very complicated company. Actually, I have a very simple company. Uh, I have, you know, deals all over the world, and they're great deals. And they're, really, it's a very simple company from that standpoint, structurally. Uh, and I own my own company. But it, it made me to be, I did hear, in fact, if you read the first paragraph, it says a lot. It, it got me out to be very successful, which I am. I right. Mean, but they, very, they, they also successful. say, they start by saying this. If you win, will you and your family permanently sever uh, any connections to the Trump organizations while you're in office? Well, I will sever connections, and I'll have my children and my executives run the company, and I won't discuss it with them. I would, it's just so unimportant compared to what we're doing about making America great again. I just wouldn't care. Now, I guess uh, you could say there's a conflict because as the company get as the country gets stronger, that's good for all companies, right? But I wouldn't care. It's so unimportant compared to what I'm doing right now. I mean, you know, uh, I've spent my money to run, uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars I've spent to do the, you know, unlike other people where they raise all the money. I raise money for the party, uh, and we have great small donors coming in and just, you know, st really spending a lot of money on that. And I think we, we took in... Twenty-eight million dollars one month. Twenty-eight million right. at sixty, sixty-one dollars a head. That's, yeah, that's right. money I love so much because these right. are people investing, but they're investing in the campaign. But uh, you know, I would absolutely sever. I would have nothing right. to do with my. But well, would you, knowing that you made these companies, if if a sanctions went on a, co a country that would hurt your company or your hotels, would you hesitate? Oh, I would absolutely get out in some form. I mean, would, if, if its ownership would have to sell, but I would, I would get out of those countries. I wouldn't want to be involved, and then nobody else is able to. But I don't think we have too many of those companies, frankly. But, but uh, yeah, I would. I would. It's a very interesting question. I would get out. I would get out of those countries. All right. Well, I want to get your thoughts on this this morning coming out. A big story. Ford has announced they're moving all of its small car production from America to Mexico, where they say they're going to build $1.6 billion plant and create 2,800 jobs there. This is something that you called for, correct? Well, I've been calling for this five years, six years, seven years. I've been talking about it. That's why I'm doing well in Michigan. That's why I'm doing well in Ohio. That I've been talking about, you know, Hillary started talking about it two days ago, uh, and she knows nothing about it. This is why I think I'm leading so big in so many of the, the states. I mean, uh, states that make cars, they like Donald Trump. I've been saying for five years this is going to happen. I can't believe the brazenness. Now, I think they may be announced it today because they think I'm going to win and I'm going to stop them. You know, I have a way of stopping them very, very easily, and the politicians have that way, too. But I don't even, number one, I don't even know if they know about it. And number two, basically when they make their car and they think they're going to get away with this and they fire all their employees in the United States, they move to Mexico. When that car comes back across the border into our country that now comes in free, we're going to charge them a 35 percent tax. And you know what's going to happen? They're never going to leave. They'll never yeah. leave in a million years. Because it won't make financial sense. And if That's they want right. to leave, yeah. we're going to make a lot of money because they're going to have to pay the tax. Sure. And That's it about. will stop 98% of the businesses because businesses are flowing out of our country. You yeah. will not believe right. what's happening. Well, you could be right. Maybe that's why uh, Ford has made that announcement right now. Uh, Mr. Trump, can you hang around for a couple more minutes? We've got so many people who have sent us email questions and tweeted us questions, and we got some more as well. Absolutely. For All you, right. absolutely. Thank you very much. More with Donald Trump on the other side of a quick time out. See you soon. Also, because we want to ask him about this. Mr. Trump, I invited you here to thank us for what oh, we've done oh, 